Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video here and I'm going to give you some information. Now there's a reason I'm doing this and you'll understand by the end of this video why I'm, you know, I'm giving you the information. As a disclaimer, I'm not paid by this company. I'm not on staff with them. I'm not an employee. I'm simply a member of the International Freelance Photographers Organization. and I love this media organization and I'm seeing some things on YouTube with our cop watching First Amendment audit community. So I wanted to just go ahead and just, you know, I've spoke on this before, but I'm straight up going to give you the information here. Um, now, the International Freelance Photographers Organization is not just some fly by night, you know, mandy pandy internet online thing you can get credentials for for social media. They actually have covered, uh, IFPO members have covered sporting events to include college football, NFL, NASCAR. Uh, I believe Major League Baseball even, <clears throat> but they've covered many huge political events with, I mean, governor, senator, presidential campaigns. They they go to all these different um, political events and cover, they cover overseas. So anybody that's looking for a freelancer, like if, you know, Bob's newspaper in Kansas City wants a freelancer to go cover a Chiefs game, they'll call somebody from IFPO or somebody from the International Freelance Photographers Organization can contact them and say, hey, I heard you're looking for a freelancer. I have credentials. And you give them your uh, actual credential number. It's a validation number. They enter it into verify.html. Click your validation number when it comes up, the link there, and it'll show your information. And they go, oh, wow, he really is. Yeah, he's a member. And I myself am a lifetime member. If you're wondering what's on my fingernail, it's a bruise. Um, always pull your hand out of the car door before you close it. So that's a bruise. Um, but um, so that's, you know, and, and th the reason I'm doing this is I've seen some people getting questioned by law enforcement. Uh, checking our public servants or cops was arrested for no face mask and no press credentials. They were saying uh, on the video, AV Watchman was there. Some people said he didn't get arrested for no face mask. Well, he did. Otherwise, they wouldn't have went up to AV Watchman and said, you have to have a face mask or you'll be arrested on site. We heard it right on camera. So, but he also, they were also asking for press credentials. Al SoCal in Fontana, California, a good cop watcher out there, uh, also was threatened with arrest if he didn't have press credentials so i know there's a lot of people that are saying you don't need them where i live you don't need them we go out and cop watch all the time it varies by region uh like i've heard some cities in ohio are literally giving people citations or arresting you on the spot for being out at a certain time at night because of a stay home order i've heard new york is just going crazy with their stay home order california i don't think anybody knows what the hell to do uh, a lot of the law enforcement agencies are saying, look, the public health officer has said it's mandatory. You must wear a mask outdoors, but and we will cite you as a deterrent. We'll use it as a deterrent. We'll, you know, but nobody, no, nobody, um, none of the sheriffs want to cite anybody. They're like, we're not giving citations right now. Although I've heard a couple people of Riverside have received citations. I haven't confirm that with the ticket but i've had people put on facebook i just got a citation for a ticket for being out with no mask um and you know anybody can put anything on facebook but my point is i'm sorry if i'm rambling i'm just trying to get my thoughts together and i've done this seven or eight times now but my point is if you're going to go out cop watching or first amendment audit still you can do it if you're a member of the press. Now, I know that if you're an American citizen, First Amendment and all that. But look, there are law enforcement agencies out there or law enforcement officers that don't believe that. They think because they're just so freaking boneheaded that you have to actually have a badge around your neck or a press pass that says, hi, I'm credentialed. See, I'm with Bob's News. Oh, OK. But if you don't have that, they'll say, where's your press credentials? Well, I don't need them. Well, you go, you go home or get arrested. That's what they're saying to people on camera, guys. This isn't something I'm making up. This isn't something I'm guessing at. I've seen the videos and my jaw drops like, you need press credentials? Well, I've got them so they can go pound sand because I am a member of the press. 
I, uh, International Freelance Photographers Organization. And I'm going to show you right now how you too can get your press credentials. Um, again, some people will just say, you know, I'm not doing that. No, screw you. I'm not going to do it. And that's fine. I, I'm not telling you you should or have to. I'm just saying if you want to avoid that threat of arrest and you want to rub it in their face and say, look, I'm credentialed. This is the way to do it right here. And I'm going to go through it real quick with you. I'm going to do it as quick as I can. So if you go up here, it's going to be ifpo.net. I will put the link in the description box below. But it's ifpo.net. Now, they show you how to join the International Freelance Photographers Organization. Shows you how to get press credentials. I'm not going to click all these links. You guys can click them. Members only are for members like myself to get new photo ID or new passport ID. If it gets wore out, you can order a new one. New crew tag, press renewals. They're even accredited with the Better Business Bureau at an A-plus rating as of this year. And I believe it because they are really squared away. Uh, I got my press credentials first from them that had an expiration date. And then I saw something that said I could be a lifetime member of the International Freelance Photographers Organization. I said, wow, how cool would that be? And I do. And it says freelance journalist. And on the back is a code that you can give people. It's ifpo.net slash ifpo verify dot html. I will put that in the description box. Now, we're going to click some links here. Um, it says here, $59 special, 40% off for International Freelance Photographers Organization Lifetime Membership. That is a 40% discount. Trust me, because I paid, I think I got a 10 or 20% discount, but it was close to $100. So let's click that. Okay, so when you click that link, this is what you come up with. And um, to verify it on the back of your card, you're going to have a, a code that they give you. It's a validation code. And there's a website that I will put a link to in the description box below. IFPO verify. Well, it's IFPO.net slash IFPO verify dot HTML. And you type your code in there and your validation code. And then it'll come up. It'll validate or verify that you actually have that code on file and then you click that code has a hyperlink it'll take you take them to your information so they can see that oh yeah he is a member of the international freelance photographers organization okay so you are a member of the press because you know the, these cops right now with the covid and the stay home order and all this they're so freaking confused and tunnel focused on you got to have these to be a member of the press or you got to go home or get arrested i've seen it on video i'm not making it up i i'm a, i mean the latest one was checking our public servants or cops um i've seen other people get threatened with arrest or you know show press credentials or go home so and cops are always asking for press credentials no you don't need them in a normal day but right now you might get arrested, guys. I, I want to know if anybody tests that and doesn't get arrested. Okay, uh, Cops checking our public service tested it and got arrested. Not his fault. It's just that the cops don't understand the First Amendment. Right now, they think you have to have press credentials or you have to stay home. I, I, don't, I don't know. Our Constitution is pretty much gone right now during this crisis, pandemic. Um, but you come up with this, it's only $59. Now, it's regular to $89. I think $89 is what I paid to become a member of this organization. But it is a lifetime membership. And you complete an online form. And then you email whatever photograph you want to use on the card. This, this is a fake sample card. That's not a real person. But you... Whatever photo you want, you email to them in a JPEG uh, file and they will put your photograph that you sent them in email on here and send you your card. Uh, you can also do it by PayPal. Uh, you can mail a copy of your photo to them if you don't have email or don't know how to do all of that. You can just mail it to a. Trust me, it's easy. It's easy. You save your, you take a photograph on your phone, save it 
email it to them. It's so freaking easy. And you can use all major credit cards, American Express, Discover, MasterCard, Visa, um, whatever. But there you go, guys. I wanted to throw that out to you and uh, give you the opportunity, if you want to pay a little money to get those press credentials, um, especially those of you who have a PayPal or a, a GoFundMe or something on YouTube where you make money. And if you are monetized on YouTube and you're give, being hassled by the cops about being out because of the stay home crap, this might be something you want to look into if you want to keep getting out there and doing YouTube videos to keep getting monetized. Otherwise, you're just going to keep getting hassled by the cops. And I've had a couple of people say, well, they don't do that here. And they might not. This is, it's so... You know, and it goes state by state. The president has said he's allowing governors to run their state as they want. Um, and the mayors of each city, it seems like, are also doing it kind of different. Governor Newsom's health order is a misdemeanor code. Um, punishable with a thousand dollar fine and up to one year in jail. Uh, here in San Bernardino County, it's up to 90 days in jail. But, you know, it's. It, like they're doing it different like Riverside County the sheriff has said you know we just don't have the manpower right now to be able to enforce this but we will if we have to San Bernardino County has said we're not going to you know what was the word he said I think broadly or I forget the word but they're not going to cite everybody it's just going to be used as a deterrent if somebody's willfully just not obeying the health order maybe coughing in on food or something but Fontana, Al SoCal was told, get press credentials or go home or get arrested. Cops checking our public servants was arrested. Guys, it's this is real right now. And if you think it's going to end by May 1st because they said, well, by May 1st, we should be back to normal. <laughs> yeah, uh -uh, there's too many freaking sick people out there for this to go back to normal on May 1st. We're looking through the summer on this one. So this might be something you guys want to look into. If not, it's cool. Just uh, there you go. I gave you the information. I wanted to share it with you because I'm here to help you guys as much as I can. And I know a lot of people are getting frustrated and going, God, the freaking cops told me I'm going to get arrested or go home. Get press credentials and then tell them. I'm a member of the press. I have a mask on and I'm out here covering a story about the coronavirus. That's what you do. And there you go. Thank you guys for watching Community Leo Watch. Watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers from coast to coast.